Hello everyone, my name is Dante Jaramillo. I'm a ref designer. And today we're gonna be doing a quick overview of Affinity Designer, which is a vector app that you can find in the App Store for about 50 bucks. Today uh, we're gonna be talking about the uh, draw persona a little bit. Affinity Designer has three different interfaces or personas as they're called. We have our pixel and uh, we have our export persona, which is where we can export our JPEGs and stuff like that for web assets pixel where we can manipulate in a uh, Photoshop like environment but within uh, Affinity Designer but today we're going to be focusing on drop the uh, drop persona on the left side we have all the different tools available in Affinity which are not as many as you would find in Illustrator but um, I would have to say that uh, Affinity Designer can do almost everything Illustrator can do it works great, uh, great with Illustrator we, uh, I can import Illustrator files as well so if you have Illustrator this is a great application to uh, use in, in conjunction with uh, Illustrator. So let's start talking, uh, talking about a little bit about the interface. And as you can see, we have our, on the top we see basically some of the uh, things that you would find in Illustrator. On the top we can, uh, we have uh, buttons to flip the image. We can align it. So we have our align tools, we have our, uh, Pathfinder live tools if I create a different graphic and uh, I can subtract and things like that so we also have on the right hand we have some of the other layers such as colors, swatches, stroke, brushes and uh, on the stroke you can see we have almost the same uh, options as we do in Illustrator we have effects, styles, layers and uh, one neat thing about uh, layers here inside Affinity Designer is the ability to edit all layers or you know in other words you can select everything as you would expect in Illustrator but we also have if we had deactivate that we can now only select what's inside that um, that layer and we cannot select anything else which I think is kind of neat we have our transform which works just like in Illustrator we have a history and I'll show you that in a little bit one of the uh, key points about Affinity Designer that I'll be talking about today, since this is a very quick overview, is one, our, uh, the uh, uh, zoom tool, which allows infinite zoom in. So as you can see, I have a very tiny graphic right here, but if I go and zoom in, so we're not limited when it comes to uh, how much we can zoom in. Also another thing that I like to point out is our node tool which you can uh, it is our white arrow and the shortcut for that is A so if I select that and I pick one of um, one of our shapes I'm gonna I, right now I have uh, one of the uh, sm uh, smart shapes what I can do is I can actually we have three node actually we have four node nodes in this one uh, specific shape and if I select one of them I can manipulate the way the image looks instantly and that applies to every single shape that we have uh, under the uh, smart or smart shapes you can say we do have our rounded uh, squares and same thing once I select my node tool I can adjust how much we I, I change uh, the radius and just like in Illustrator on the top you can select by um, how much you want it right now it's in under uh, percentages but as you can see I can do that as well. Same thing with the uh, uh, graphic I just had selected. So if I go and select that again, I can change the uh, inner radius, the teeth, how many teeth, uh, the whole radius, the tooth size, the notch size, and everything. And if I'm the, um, happy with the graphic, I can always go to convert to curves. And what that does is that basically it eliminates the nodes and you no longer have the possibility to keep modifying that shape, but it, it allows you to do other things with those shapes. So that's a very powerful uh, tool or powerful possibility inside Affinity Designer. Uh, another thing about uh, Affinity Designer is that our history panel works very different than uh, the way it works in inside Illustrator. Here in Affinity Designer, you can do a live, pre uh, a live uh, history and you can go back and forth. So as you can see, I can go back to almost to the beginning. Pretty cool. So 
that is one of the strong keys, uh, uh, strong points. I'm sorry about Affinity Designer. So we have infinite zoom in. We can uh, we have smart shapes with uh, the help of our node tool. We can basically come up with any any shape we can we can think of. Something that we honestly don't have in Illustrator. And another uh, very strong point about um, Affinity Designer is the possibility of a uh, split screen, which works different than the split screen in Illustrator. And I'll show you what that how that works. So right now, let me zoom in so you can see better. So on one side, I have my vector, and on the other, I have I can have uh, if we go uh, right here, we can go to pixel mode, and you can access all that through the uh, view menu. So you have your view mode, and you can go to pixel, pixel retina, uh, vector outline, and then we can go to split view or single view. So as you can see, we can see the pixels. We can go to retina, which makes it a lot smoother. For that, we'd have to zoom in a lot more. But there, there are the pixels. So now let me zoom back out. What I'm gonna do is now go to uh, outline, and we can basically uh, do a live preview. Very nice. So um, that's these are some of the great things about Affinity Designer. I'll be uploading more videos just to help with the transition or help uh, show you um, how you can use Affinity Designer if you don't want to uh, buy uh, Illustrator or if you want to work with Illustrator. So for now, it's just a very quick overview of the some of the great things Affinity can do. That for the price, it's just amazing. So, uh, like I said, I'll be up, I'll be posting uh, more videos just to kind of show the possibilities. Um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, guys.